Hey guys, let's talk about content publishing frequency. How much should you publish? So this is a really common question we get. There are two reasons to publish content. One, to find what's working. Two, to scale what's working. Okay, that's it. If you don't, if you are not doing one of those two things, you probably shouldn't be publishing content. What we see a lot of organizations go wrong is they start publishing content with sort of the throw shit against the wall strategy and see what sticks, except they don't measure what sticks. They don't have a plan to measure what sticks or, or anything like that. They're just like, hey, let's throw out 150, 200 pieces of content, 50 pieces of content a day, whatever it is. And then that's it. And then they move on. That's usually a mistake because you're not doing one of those two things. You're not finding what's working and you're not measuring what's working. So number one, finding what's working that can be broken down into some other steps. In order to find something that's working when you're testing pretty much anything that involves data, you really need to have a hypothesis. All right. If you don't have a hypothesis, you're not really going to learn much. You can say you can go measure data and see the impact of a piece of content. But if you didn't set out to create that piece of content with a strategy in mind and some rationale of why you think it's going to work, all you're going to know is that it did something or not. It drove traffic, it drove leads, it drove sales or not, you're not gonna know why, you're not gonna be able to take that information and apply it to future tests. And so you really need to develop, anytime you're testing, develop a hypothesis ahead of time. And so let's say you're gonna publish 10 pieces of content a day, maybe you break those down into two pieces for X strategy, two pieces for Y strategy, and those are your hypotheses, right? You're trying to publish content to validate or invalidate your hypothesis. Maybe your hypothesis is, all right, our, our, our uh, audience wants to, you know, will really respond to, I don't know, quizzes. I'm just using something stupid here. Um, to quizzes posted on the site. So you post, a, so two of your pieces of content that day are gonna be quizzes, right? And then maybe your, your idea is, all right, our, our, our audience is gonna to respond to listicles. I'm, I'm assuming we're like Buzzfeed here. So um, no organization is gonna do this, but listicles, right? Okay, so two of our pieces of content today are gonna to be listicles. Um, our other hypothesis is they're gonna to respond to X. It helps if you further refine those hypotheses and say, all right, we think they're gonna to respond to this, but here's why we think they're gonna to respond to this. And that can help you come up with better pieces of content and better tests to validate or invalidate those hypotheses. So that's step one, develop a hypothesis. Step two, figure out what content will help you validate or invalidate that hypothesis and plan that into your, into your rotation and publish that. Um, and then you do that and figure out what, what's working and what's not working. So it's a, it's a very methodical process of learning. You're not just throwing shit against the wall and hoping that it sticks, right? Uh, Step two is scale what's working. So once you find one of those things that is working, take that out of the test rotation and start scaling the heck out of that. That's another big mistake we see people make is they find something that's working and then they, they just cruise on it. And you should be shoveling dump trucks full of cash at that, that strategy if you got it. I mean, push that strategy hard. As soon as you find something that's working, hammer it, put the throttle down. Um, take advantage of that, milk it, because it's, it's probably not gonna last forever. Other people are gonna see what you're doing, they're gonna copy it, you're gonna have competition, you know, your audience is just gonna not be into that type of thing later on. Um, so, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff, when you find, find something that's working, it may not work forever, so you should take advantage of it in the short term. So just remember those two things. Whenever you're publishing content, there's two, two, two goals you should have in mind. You should either be finding stuff that's working or scaling stuff that's working, and that's it.